one of the things that comes up a lot is is copyright issues, and you know uh, the source of the training data, the content, uh, making sure that it kind of aligns with the company's uh, uh, company's objectives, um, and that's that's something we deal with a lot, um, which is why you know we advise companies who are more uh, uh, worried about their copyright uh, material and stuff like that to um, use AI more on the automation side. Use it as you know maybe uh, maybe something that can do code reviews, uh, do an initial pass on code reviews. Maybe something that can go through Jira, point out uh, point out tasks that that you know need to be prioritized. Um, uh, maybe you know give it a game design document, you know, and and get its input as far as where it sees uh, pot you know potential pitfalls or players. Uh, playing uh, their particular game, like you know, we advise them to kind of uh, use it in that process. Uh, but we generally try to stay away from is any kind of uh, uh, game developer who wants to use Gen AI to generate all their assets or all their uh, uh, all their their entire game. Um, AI is just not to the point yet um, that it you know you can just do text to game. Mm -hmm. um, it's it, in in. I don't think that's you know something that's going to be coming about for a little while.